If you're a geologist and you've spent any significant time in the field, you've probably lost a hammer or two. If you want to find out how not to do that, then this is the video for you. I'm Nick Tate, and this is another video in the series of field craft for geologists. Now, I used to lose geopix pretty much on a daily basis. I'd put the hammer down somewhere and start looking at rocks and getting all excited about them and then I'd go on to the next outcrop and pretty soon no hammer. And people used to take pity on me and lend me their hammer and then I'd lose their hammer. And obviously that didn't go on too long and then one day we went on a university mapping camp and we were going to be out for two weeks so I decided to make a, a really good geopick and I bought a hammer head and I reamed out the core of the head so it would take a bigger handle and I glued it all up and put the wedges in and spent a lot of time on it and I was determined I wasn't going to lose it. And then of course the very first day out in the field I started looking at rocks and I got excited and I went on to the next outcrop and sure enough I left the hammer on the outcrop and it was a long way back to town that day so I decided I was going to go back and I was going to find that hammer and I did. I retraced all my steps and that was in the days before GPS, it wasn't so easy, it took me a couple of hours but I found it and from that day forward I haven't lost another hammer. The way I do that nowadays is I always keep the same things in the same hand. Geopick in the right hand, GPS in the left hand. So that if I even take a few steps away from an outcrop and one hand's empty, something feels wrong and I can go back and get it. So far I haven't lost either a GPS or a hammer since I started using that technique. In fact, I've collected quite a few hammers because I find other people's hammers out in the field and <laughs> there must be thousands of them out there because people put them on an outcrop, use them as a scale bar, take a photo and that's right where they leave them.